Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel, where today guys, I'm going to do a real quick announcement video discussing exactly what I said I was going to discuss at the end of the last video. The main thing I need to go and tell you about real quickly guys is this, here's the problem with most of my series. The Evo Pop series in general is a really really good series however it gets kind of boring because we do the exact same thing over and over again all of that series also is better than some of the other ones i do because there's actually a schedule involved it sounds weird but like i said during the last session of videos guys um when you have a random when you're playing a bunch of random games you may think oh that makes the thing more fun but it's also good to have a schedule in it I mean, I'd like to even do some snake rivals if I can get to work on my iPad or tablet right. I'd like to do some of it. I'd like to do some of that Dinosaur Island game. That game ain't ready yet, though. I still need to get everything ready in it. We got the food and everything, but we still need to buy every single dinosaur again. And then, like I said, I think for the next video I do with that game, I'm going to do something a little bit different. So, yeah, I'm just getting stuff ready using my experimental habitat. In fact, you might get to see some of it during the next video, during the next time I do that game. Here's the idea one more one more to do tonight, guys. What I'm going to try to do is exactly what I said. I know the last few times I've said, oh, I'll do a lot more Roblox. There'll be a lot more Roblox videos. Or, I'll, or I may even said, I'm only going to do Roblox. But again, it runs into the same brick wall as some of the other series besides Evo Pop. When you do, when you focus on one game, you have to somehow keep people entertained for the entire game. And Dinosaur Ride Simulator is a wonderful game, but it's hard to entertain people while we wait for my dinosaur to level up and destroy stuff. But here's the thing, guys. We ain't got many other dinosaurs that we can level up right now. We just unlocked one of the Charizards, but other than that, that's the only dinosaur at level 1 that we've got. And the rest of them are going to take a lot longer because they are higher leveled. And that's the reason why I don't do Roblox as much as I say I'm going to. How can I keep a can How can I keep you guys entertained whenever there's nothing I can say about it? I have to sit there and destroy. I have to sit there and let my dinosaur destroy stuff. And the only things I know to add out in the videos and made parts where I'm just walking around, like if I'm way, if I'm if I'm, if I'm at the way other side of the entire map, and I have to tell my dinosaur to walk all the way back forward into it, uh, into that little zone area. Wait, like that's ain't my point though. How? I I I don't know. That's that's why even though I've said I'm gonna do robots, I haven't stuck to it because. I, I love doing robots for certain videos, but unless I want to do more in Dinosaur Rider Simulator and try to do either Shard Seekers or Titan Pet Simulator or something like that, it's going to eventually get to a point where we're not really going to get anywhere. It would be fine if I had some other games to go to, like if it's not just raising games. I even thought about maybe showing you guys a little phobia game that I found on there. But the problem is, I'm such a big scaredy cat that... <laughs> Even the slightest little thing would scare me. I'd probably... You, 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 people would wake up in the middle of the night hearing me scream over a flipping Roblox game where I just saw a spider jump out at me. So, yeah. I don't know if I'll do that or not, guys. I'm going to tell you, if if I do decide to do like actual more Roblox videos, it's going to be paired with some other games other than just Dinosaur Rider Simulator. Because, again, I can't keep it completely entertained with just that game alone. I would like to still focus on certain games, mainly uh, if I do any dot .io games, I want to try to do a little bit more of, when it comes to certain games, I need to focus a little bit more, uh, when it comes to certain games, I need to focus on a certain game in the category, meaning the fact that, let's say dot .io games, for example, I need to really focus on that Hungry Fish the IO game because not only is that the funnest game to me, but on top of that, I can unlock a lot more stuff in the game to actually make the game more entertaining and fun. Cash Crush is kind of the same way, but the problem is you're kind of limited down to the ones you have. 
Look, let me just tell you a real quick summary about what I'm trying to say here, guys. When you do, when I do a Roblox series, I need a way of entertaining people, and that's not easy. And the same thing for like any other series. Again, playing games is fun, but again, when you're doing it randomly, it kind of throws it. Just make because I go through them so quickly. I I sit there and play like. <laughs> Five, like, like you saw with the flipping upright games we did, I played like five or ten minutes of Dino Domination, moved over to another game and played it for five or ten minutes, moved over to another one, blah, 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 and I kept going like that. And that don't sound that bad on paper, but going through them games very quickly like that, and just the fact that I was running out of I was getting a little bit bored anyway, but my original goal was to go ahead and do more Roblox. I, if I figure out if I figure out an easier way to do it, guys, I will do a Roblox series tonight if I get the chance. However, if I do, if I do something sim if I do something like that, I'd spent this, I'd spent a good amount of Hungryfish to IO Castle Crush, and. Other stuff like that. Now, there might even be some other upright games. If I don't do a Roblox series, guys, then I'll try doing it early in another series. Say, for example, maybe if I do Evo Pop, maybe instead of seeing the .io games in set one, you'll see more Roblox with Dinosaur Ride Simulator. Again, you guys may wonder why I stick to the Evo Pop series. Well, again, it feels like that's the only series that seems to do decent when it comes to like me enjoying myself. I know it seems weird. I know it seems weird for you, for me to say it like that, but at the same, I'm also getting more talkative during Evo Pop too. Even if it's just something saying like "you a butthole" or "ha ha ha, take that" or something like that. I'm more talkative during that in Castle Crush. Robots. All you're all you're hearing is and and do you. Or whatever the sound it makes whenever you level up. That's really all you're getting when I do Roblox with not a ride simulator. But either way, I, I'm I, I'm gonna go and stop it, guys. I'm sorry like the last few announcements have been awkward. It's just hard for me to explain them easily. But that's all I got for you. I'll see you guys all for another another section of games which will probably be I'll probably do Pokemon next if I get the chance. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see y'all for the next one. Bye bye everyone.